Hey, hello, welcome to this pixel matter tutorial. As promised, I'm going to show you how to make the lights and the light effect. Um, on the screen in front of you, you just got two layers, carbon background and the word subscribe written over the top of it. Um, the carbon background is just simply made. If you don't know how to make them and you want to use it for this tutorial, I'll put the link, I've done a video, I'll put the link to that video on the screen or in the description below. Or if I forget, just go to my Pixelmator playlist and look for carbon effect tutorial and you'll find it there. So yeah, let's get on. In the layers pane of this video, it gets quite busy um, and there's quite a lot going on. So I will go as slow as I can, um, but I don't want to drag it out too long. So I apologize in advance if I've gone a little bit too fast for you. So first thing we've got to make is the shape of the light. So we can go ahead and do that by um, using our tools right here and go to select our shape tool. So just left click on our shape tool and drag it down to the rounded rectangle shape. And on my screen, I'm just gonna drag out a shape like, like so. Now yours doesn't have to be this big. I'm doing it this big, I'll resize them later. I'm doing it this big just so you can see it on the screen quite easily. So this first shape just so, because I'm going to have to keep referring to them, I'm going to double click it in my layers pane and rename it Rectangle. So now I'm going to go back to my Shape Tools, left click, drag down to Ellipse Shape, and with this Ellipse Shape I'm going to just drag out a, an elliptical oval, let's call it, um, that fits nicely inside the rectangle, like so. Then I'm going to double click that and call it the oval again, just because I'm going to have to keep referring to them. Now in my layers pane, I'm going to drag and drop the rectangle above the oval like so. With the oval selected, I'm going to go to my styles tools right here. If they're not on your screen, press command seven and they will pop up. Um, this fill gradient, I'm going to drop it to color. And then I'm going to go to my colors over here, select my crayons, yellow, then go to color wheel and drag that yellow down to a cream type color. But your lights can be any colors, so you know I'm just doing this to, to keep it very um, simple and generic. So that's my, um, I'm happy with this, this color that's selected. So I'm now going to go to this oval in my layers pane, right click it and convert it into pixels. And I'm going to go to my effects browser and again if you've not got this, command 3 maybe on your keyboard, yep, command 3 and then I'm going to scroll right to the top, make sure that my oval is selected because that's the layer I want to apply the effect to. Double click the Gaussian, the Gaussian blur and I get this um, little tool slider pop up. Now I can change how this glows like so, and I just want it around 13, between 10 and 14 pixels, but it's personal preference, click OK, and then with this oval still selected, I'm going to resize it. So it just fits nicely into this rounded rectangle, and it looks like a light is glowing, a light is switched on. Now once you've resized the layer within Pixelmator, people try and do stuff and you get this look. If you get this little um, rotate tool or another tool like this, it's just because once you've resized it, you just have to confirm by clicking OK in the top right hand corner of the main layers pane, of the main um, preview pane. So once I've got that, again I've resized it, like I said, make sure it fits into this rectangle. I'm going to highlight the oval and the rectangle in my layers pane, right click and merge layers. And then I'm going to double click what's now called the rectangle and call it light. So that's my light. And now with this light selected, I'm just going to resize it. So I'm happy with the size that fits on my screen like so, something like this. Then I'm going to position it at the top. Now you see where this gradient comes down? I'm just going to position it so we get just the just, you can either have a tiny bit of the grey, let's have a look at that, a tiny bit of the grey, or you could just have, I'm just going to use my arrow keys, just to 
In fact, just snap it into place like this. You could just have it where the gradient comes down and you just got the black part. So now it looks, it just gives it a different feel. So I'm happy with the size. I'm happy with how it looks and position. I'm gonna right click the light in my layers pane. Duplicate once, duplicate twice because I want three. And then I'm going to move them and position them on the screen where I want my lights. My second one and just put it in the middle like this. And then with these lights, once I'm happy with the position, highlight them all in my layers pane, right click and group layers. Double click group and rename it to lights. So I know that's my lights and I can move them all as a group now if I wanted to and just make sure they're in the center of the screen. Now we're gonna make the background effect for the lights to make it look like it's, it's glowing. So I'm gonna to go to my background and I'm gonna duplicate it as many times as I've got lights. So it's three, that's number two, and then number three. Now with these background layers, the three copies, I'm gonna highlight them all, right click and merge layers. Double click and just call it BG for background lights. So this is my background lights. Did I merge them? I must have done. Okay, right click, group, not merge, apologies, and rename it BG Lights. So now I'm gonna open those lights up and just double click them each and call them light one, working from the top down, light two. You don't have to rename them if you don't want to. I'm just doing it for ease. So I wanna to refer to them during the video. So with this light one selected, I'm now going to make um, make the beam that comes from this light. I'm going to scroll down my effects browser to this um, spotlight, or you can just go search and type in spot, and it will go to this spotlight. With my light one selected, double click spotlight. Now I get these control tools right here, look. And um, one of them is the top of the light, and one of them is the bottom. So I am going to drag, and you'll see on the screen, if you increase the concentration, which one is the top and which one is the bottom. It's like it's sort of a torch beam. Now, I don't want them too too bright for now, right? And I'll, sh I'll show you why later. So I don't want the concentration too great, and I don't want the lights too bright. And I've just got mine on. Let's have a look. I've got it on 1% for the concentration and 1.9 for the brightness. So the first control point, the start of the light, I'm going to put above the light. And the second one, I'm going to put below the light. And again, you can change the color right here. And click OK. So now I'm going to do the same with light two. Double click spotlight. And you notice it just puts it in the same place as I last left it. So I'm going to drag it over to light two. Click OK. And again, with light three, we're going to do the same. Double click on spotlight. And again, just drag it over to light three. Click OK. Now, because I've got, I made this carbon effect with like a light part in the middle anyway, all I'm gonna do is um, select the background layer, cr click plus create new layer. So now I've got a new layer above my background layer. And I'm just going to simply fill it with um, with the color black. So just fill it with the color black, like so. Okay, so it's I've just got rid of the the light part of the background that I created. That's all I've done. And I'm going to select my selection tool. Now let's turn the lights on. I'm going to go to light one within my layers. Go to my effects browser. Scroll down and find, or scroll up, sorry. I'll right, just scroll through your effects and find invert. So with my lights one selected, I'm gonna to go to invert. So all I'm doing is inverting this light so it will make it brighter. Look, so that's quite simple. Now I'm gonna do the same with light two, double click and invert, and then light three, double click and invert. So it gives us this fantastic lighting effect. I'm sure you'll agree. Now what we can do, is if you think it's a little bit too bright, just go to light one, um, turn it off, turn light three off. So we're just left with the, the center light. Now I'm gonna leave this one up 
100%. Right, but with light one, let me turn it on. I'm gonna drag this down to around 60 something percent. And again with light three, I'm gonna drag it down the opacity down to 60, whatever it is, percent that light one was on also. So there you go. Now we just export that out to be whatever it is you want it to be. Now, obviously we've got this, this text here. Let me just see what happens if I drag it below, um, below the lights, but above the layer. See, it goes behind the background of the lights, so it, it just gives a different effect. So generally you would want it above the actual background lights, um, like so. So there it is. That's how to make your lights. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, please um, feel free to um, to leave them in comments below. Thanks a lot for um, for watching and enjoy creating whatever you can create. Catch you later.